So this yoga system, bhakti yoga, how to increase attachment for Krishna is uh, being taught by our Krishna consciousness movement. Maya Saptamana Pratha Juvang Junyan Madhasva. In this connection, one has to learn this yogic system from Krishna directly or from his representative. That is the meaning of Madhasva. One must take shelter either. So, at the present moment, it is not possible to take shelter of Krishna directly. And therefore, one has to take shelter of his and, and bona fide representative. And there are four uh, parties or sampradā who are Vaishnavas. The Brahma Sampradaya, Rudra Sampradaya, Sri Sampradaya, and Kumar Sampradaya. So one has to take shelter of either of these Sampradaya, disciplic succession, and then learn the Bhakti Yoga system from him, then he will uh, understand or he will see God. Seeing God is not exactly uh, seeing with the eyes. God's another name is Anubhav, realization, revelation, realization. So that is wanted. That revelation is made by Krishna Himself to the bona fide devotee. Sevan Mukhi hi jibhado Swami was Puratada. Krishna, God reveals Himself. Just like you cannot see the sun in the darkness of night, sun is there in the sky. But somehow or other, when your planet is on the other side and it is darkness, you cannot see the sun. Not that the sun is not there, but you cannot see. Similarly, Krishna is always present before us, but we cannot see him. Just like Krishna, when was personally present, they were, there are so many hundreds and millions of men on the surface of the globe. Only few could see him, that he is the Supreme Personality of God. Even God, the Supreme Personality of God, if Krishna comes before somebody, it is not possible to see him. Uh, the, the seeing process is different. Premanjana Churita Bhakti Vilochanina. One can see when the eyes are anointed with the ointment of bhakti. When the eyes are cleansed to see God. That is revelation. Uh, it is said that a pure devotee is seeing Krishna every moment. Shanta uh, sadaiva. Sadaiva means every moment he is seeing. But that means he is a different person. His senses are purified, electrified, sanctified. Therefore he is seeing. And one's eyes, if not sanctified, purified, then he cannot see. There are so many examples. That's like a machine. A child is seeing 
but he cannot see properly. He sees a lump of matter. But an engineer, when he sees, he immediately understands that this machine is made by such and such, it is working for this, a good machine, bad machine, nice. He can see in different way because he has got the eyes to see. Similarly, to understand Krishna, God, we require to purify our senses. Uh, that is defined by Narad Pancharatra. Sarvapati uh, vinin muktam, being freed from all kinds of designation. Uh, just like we are seeing Krishna consciousness, accepting Krishna consciousness in a vision, and somebody else, ordinary man, suppose somebody is in Christian, he sees Krishna consciousness as a movement of the Hindus, but actually it is not. Therefore, he has to become free from the designation of becoming an American. Sarvapāti vinin mukta. One should be free from the designation. Like uh, this body is a designation. Actually there is no difference between American body and Indian body. The same physiological construction. Uh, there is blood, there is flesh, there is bone. If you see within the body, there is no difference. But still we have designated, I am American, you are Indian, you are black, I am white, and these are These are all designations. False. So one has to become free from the designation. Actually, designation has no value. Uh, the person is uh, important, not the designation. So to see Krishna means first business is to become free from the designation. I am thinking in terms of my bodily concept of life, that is material, because the body is material. So long I am thinking I am American, I am Indian, I am Brahmin, I am Kshatri, I am this, I am that, they are all designations. Uh, they, that is not uh, nirmalam, purified condition. Purified condition is when one understands that I am spirit soul, Krishna is the supreme spirit soul, and I am part and parcel of Krishna. We are one in quality. Uh, we may be different as individual. Krishna is big individual. I am a small individual. Just like in this material world also, one man is very powerful, another man is less powerful. But both of them are men. They are not animals. Similarly, Krishna, God, is uh, qualitatively, one with me. Quantitatively, he is very, very powerful. His creative power, he has got creative power. I have got also creative power. I can at most create a big aeroplane flying in the sky, but he has created a big, big. Uh, planets are floating in the sky. He has made such a nice arrangement that it is floating. And we have to float uh, millions times less important than the planet, suppose a Sputnik, with so many machines. Uh, that is the difference between his power and our power. We are part and parcel of Krishna, 
And so although the quality is the same, but the quantity different. At the present moment, our difficulties are that although we are part and parcel of God, uh, we are now separate. Uh, every one of us is trying to become a separate God. That is called materialism. Everyone is struggling. The materialistic theory is struggle for existence, survival of the fittest. The Mahavad theory that you go on struggling and if you come to the fittest position, then you uh, survive. But actually, nobody is fit in this material. Nobody will survive. Everyone will be vanquished. Beginning from Brahma down to the end, nobody will survive. That is stated in the Srimad Bhagavad Bhagavad Gita that Abrahma Bhavana Lukan Punaravati Nautya. He even if you go to the topmost planetary system, which is called Brahma Loka, still you have to be under the stringent laws of material nature, namely uh, birth, death, old age, and disease. You cannot avoid it. Uh, so we remain insignificant in any condition of life, either as a Brahma, the duration of life of Brahma is described, that we cannot calculate it. Even if you get such position, still you cannot avoid death. Uh, that is not possible. You cannot avoid old age. You cannot avoid disease. Uh, but if we, our real problem is there, that every one of us, uh, nobody wants to become old, Nobody wants to become diseased. Nobody wants to meet death. Uh, nobody wants to take birth. Of course, in the modern uh, civilization, they uh, take birth and they take death, but they do not believe uh, that there is next birth. If there is not next birth, then where from this birth takes place. So this is uh, a subject matter to be dealt with separately. Now the thing is that we, by comparison, we can see that I am a human being, I have got my position. Another man is there, he has got his position, individual position, he may be greater than me. Maybe, you know, actually we see, uh, we see both ways. Somebody is greater than me. Somebody is lesser than me, less important. In any position we can see that somebody is less important than me and somebody is more important than me. I am in the Bhaya In any position. Nobody can say, I am the ultimate. Nobody is greater than me. Uh, uh, that is not possible. That, that, that position is God's, Krishna's position. Nobody is greater than Him. Therefore, our uh, problem of life uh, can be solved only by dovetailing ourselves with Krishna. That is called bhakti yoga. Dog telling. The example can be given just like a, one man is going on on a motor car at 60 miles speed, and another man is going on cycle 10 miles speed. The 10 miles speed cycle cannot become 
one with the sixty mile speed. That is not possible. But in the ten mile speed, man on the cycle catches the motor car, which is running at sixty miles. Then he also gets sixty miles. That is called dovetailing. So, if you want to be perfect, full freedom and full creative power, everything in fullness, then we must join with the supreme full, complete whole. Mm. It's like a very rich man. The servants in the house of a rich man, they are also rich men. But they are also eating in the same way. They are eating in the same palace. This is a crude example. So there is a spiritual world uh, where Krishna is um, there. Krishna is everywhere, but here, there, he is personally there. Here in this material world, Krishna is present by his energy. Uh, just like um, the president of your country, he is in his White House, but at the same time he is present everywhere. His energy, his power is there. Nobody can deny it. Everywhere the picture of Mr. Nixon is there, and everyone is conscious that our ruler, our chief man is Mr. Nixon. Similarly, Krishna is also everywhere by his power, but still he has got his own abode. So every one of us can go back to him in his abode, in both ways. Here also, in this material world, if we remain in Krishna's service, then we are protected under Krishna's special energy. So anyone who is in Krishna consciousness, he lives with Krishna. Uh, 